Hello Internet and welcome to another episode of Automotive Carnage. In tonight's episode, we change out our wheel bearings for some silky smooth new ones. Shiny too. As I said last episode, we had to stop doing this and uh, put everything back together because my biggest socket didn't fit on here. But now that we have the right tools, i.e. a big socket with a big breaker bar, this job becomes very, very easy. Just like that. Start right over here. Boom. Alright, so there we are. One odd looking nut off. Uh, where's my tray? Uh, up there. Yeah, of course it doesn't. Not easy to pull off. It's got that much heat. It's just seized on. So hopefully you can see this all right, but we've managed to bash it off. Um, wasn't terribly hard, just had to use the right tool. So pry bars were no good to me, but what did work an absolute treat was a ball joint splitter. Um, so just pulling that right down there at the very end of it, and it literally just popped forward within a couple of hits. That and a bunch of WD-40. So now we've got that off, I'll we'll clean it up, and we'll start mounting the new one on. So there you have it, that's one wheel bearing done. Um, I'm going to do the same on the other side, which is exactly the same as what we took off in the last video, and putting it back on exactly how we did with that one. So um, that's all for tonight, and uh, tomorrow we'll go out, we'll take it for a test drive, make sure it runs all nice and smooth, and we'll go out, we'll show you my secret stash of car parts, and hopefully we can find a fuse that uh, fits in correctly and where it should be. Okay, so slight change of plans. We're not going to go check out the secret stash of cars, um, not that I don't want to show you the stash of cars, it's a very nice stash of very broken cars and pieces. Um, it, it's slightly different, it's, I kind of sold the Ford Fairmont. Yeah, the one car that was road legal that I could drive to and from work every day, I sold it. Yeah, but in my defense, I sold it for a profit, and that's the first time in a very long time that I sold a car and actually made money and I, I count, I'm like, yes, I want to sell the car. So it's gone. And now I have to ride a push bike to work. Yeah. How about a Sylvia update? I got a Sylvia still. I'll show you the Sylvia. That's a good idea. Okay, so here's the Sylvia. It's, um, yes, it's, it's up on ramps. Um, no, it doesn't run yet. No, it's not legal. No, I can't actually drive on the road like I could the Fairmont. But let's not dwell on the past. Let's carry on. Um, what have we been doing? Well, we've changed the water pump. Turns out that was heavily leaking and broken. Um, since we're in here, we changed the thermostat. Got a nice new high flow one in there. Um, that's that. Um, we're waiting for new belts to arrive. That's why I haven't updated this in a while. Um, it is taking over a week again for more parts to arrive. So we're just waiting and waiting and so much waiting. But the reason we're on ramps it is underneath here, we're not going to see much, um, but I've had to drop the oil pan for the transmission and it was full of gunk. Um, let me insert a clip here of what that actually looked like. Okay, so I've just finished pulling the pan off the automatic transmission and even though I've flushed this out, I thought I had, that is still a lot of gunk. Now look at this magnet. This is just coated. Look at that. It is thick. Of just sludge. This has never been changed or replaced at all. It's absolutely disgusting. So anyway, we'll put the new filter kit in. And hopefully, we might actually get some decent acceleration now. Gosh, it's horrible. So yeah, that's it. That's all I've been able to do on the Sylvia at this point. Because there's nothing much left to do. 
Except carry on getting it running properly, which we don't know if these changes have done anything at all. We can get those belts in. Um, and change the windscreen because it's got a big crack in there, but I can't do that till I take it to the next town over, which is 400 kilometers away. So, joys of the outback. Um, that's all for today, I suppose. I've got nothing else really to show you. Um, I still have Stalin, which I tried to, <laughs> to start today, but the battery was dead because I haven't played with it in a while because I've been playing with this and the Fairmont, which the Fairmont's gone now. Uh, anyway, um, so I still got the V8 sitting out there, which we're waiting for all these other projects to be finished before we'll even attempt to start on that. Um, I've picked up a few others that people have asked me to fix for them, so I'll film those along the way and slot them in uh, during all the other cars, I guess, whenever that is. Um, but until then, I will see you later, and hopefully we'll have a Sylvia going in the next episode. That's that's not a good thing to say, that's just jinxed it, hasn't it? Bitch that Sylvia's not going in the next episode.